Yes, we're going to uh, finish up this project here. And as I explained before, we got to put this veneer on here. We leveled this so it's square. It needs a little more right there. So it's square and true. Our edges are now true. And around, so the corners will be sharp. Now the problem we have here, well for one, it's this edge right here. See how it goes down this way? Well, that will show up after the finish is on it. You get any kind of sheen on here, and you will spot that. It just is poor, poor, poorly done. You can see where they sanded down so far. They wore right through the veneer here. Which really is a uh, sign of an amateur or someone who didn't care. And over here we have the veneer completely gone here. And you can see the little the laminations of the maple in the rim. We don't want to leave that exposed. They've also rounded out the end here. So when you look at it dead on like this, it's, it just looks lousy. You get any kind of finish on there and it's going to stand out. Let's see, let's look how much is missing. There. There's a little crack on there. That's, it. That's level back there. And it just disappears and whoop, dips right off. Now if you're standing on the side of this piano and you're looking down at it with any kind of a quality finish, that's going to stand right out. See it, it's round. So I've actually uh, made it a little, took some off of here with my block of wood here. We were sanding this down to get this flat as I could. What we're going to do now, put a piece of this veneer on here this way. It does two things it, it'll level our profile, it'll fade out to zero here, but will give us a chance to make this square in the front here because this is a little thicker than it has to be. We'll be able to see, put that there, it'll be a little round when we're done, but we will be able to level it off flat with the back end so when you look when it's to the eye, it'll appear sharp and true. Which is so important for all our efforts. Oh yeah, by the way, somebody somebody made one of these things. This. I mean, it's, it's just so poorly made out of some junk wood. Um, and they put a screw in here, and they broke the head of the screw off. So I had some fun getting this out. We're going to make a new one. Um, I actually have some wood here that will be good to make this out of here. These were originally made of rosewood. Not under the black ones, but sometime they were. So we're going to look out for, look for a piece of rose. I might have some from some other piano here. We'll see. So that's what we got to do on this side. Now on this side over here, I thought I could get away with it, but when we started taking the finish off and looking underneath, somebody put a piece of walnut in there. And even if you're going under a black finish, you cannot ends your veneer like this. See, I can feel this crack with my fingernail here. There's a separation here. Right there, all the way down. And underneath here is the end grain of the maple rim. And if this expands and contracts in any way, any minute way whatsoever, your finish will crack right there, right on that seam. Oh, we got some loose veneer here. Hear that? Right there. I'm going to glue that down. So anyways, to correct this, we're going to have to take this off. We're going to have to take this off. And we'll re-veneer it like the other side. Put the new face on here. Square this off. See, they rounded this off, too. Which really is a bummer. I mean, they make so much work. You can see where they burnt it here, also. Whoever went after this with that darn sander... They really didn't know what they were doing. Look at how they rounded this off. This is down to the maple. 
I mean, I don't know what, you must have been watching TV or texting or something. Running the sander by itself, burning right through. All the veneers burnt through. Um, this profile right here. This profile right here is lost because now it's like this as you look at it. So we're going to steam this off. Is the steamer running here? No. See, we've got problems here, but I can do some filling with this with some plastic or even sometimes the finish later. Spray some heavy duty finish on here to level it off, and you can do that. Okay, so we'll, we'll show you this here in a minute when we get rid of this. We're going to steam this off here. And there's our steamer. $20 steamer. Does a lot of work. 